Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech, and boy have I got some interesting news for you. Are you tired of fumbling with messy cables just to transfer a photo? Are you tired of downloading proprietary bloated software just to upload a video? Are you tired of YouTubers sounding like infomercial hosts? Oh, sorry about that. In this video, I'm going to help you solve two of those problems. For the longest time, Mac users have been able to enjoy the perks of wirelessly transferring content via AirDrop. Meanwhile, PC users had to resort to downloading sketchy back alley apps with shady terms of use agreements. But I say no more. I'm going to show you how to wirelessly transfer files without any apps, without any iCloud, without any restrictions. All I ask in return is that you like and subscribe. The initial setup of this does take some time, but after the initial setup, you'll be able to transfer photos and videos wirelessly with just a few taps on your phone. Start off by heading over to your laptop and clicking on the search icon at the bottom left of the screen. Type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and select run as admin. Select yes when prompted. We're going to create a new local user account by typing net user and in quotations, type the username of your choice. But don't quote me on that. Hold your applause. Anyway, in another set of quotes, type the password, type forward slash add, then hit enter. Next, we have to create a shared folder on your PC and make it accessible to your iPhone. To do that, right click on a blank area of your desktop, click new, folder, and give the folder a unique name. Right click on the folder, select properties, click the sharing tab, click the share button, click the drop down menu, select the username that you just created, and click add. Change the permission level to read write, which is something I still can't do very well, but that's besides the point. Click share, click done, then click advanced sharing. Check the box next to share this folder. Click permissions. Click add. Type that new user account that you just made. Click check name. Click OK. Then, under the Allow column, click the full control checkbox. Click Apply. Click OK. Apply again. And OK once again. Then click Close. Now, we'll have to find your IP address. To do that, click the magnifying glass at the bottom left. Type CMD. And launch the command prompt. Then, type ipconfig. Hold the shift key and the backslash key together, and this will give you a vertical line. Then type find, in quotes, IP, lowercase v, 4, and press enter. Now, let's go over to the phone. One thing you're going to notice right off the bat is that my battery is on life support. And that wouldn't have been the case if I had picked up the sleek 3-in-1 wireless charger from Amazon that works perfectly with Apple's standby mode. I'll leave the link for it down below in my description, so you don't have to make the same mistake I did. So, on your iPhone, open the Files app. Tap the three dots on the top right. Tap Connect to Server. Now type in the IP address that you made a note of earlier, and hit Connect at the bottom right corner. Select Register User. Type in the local account name that you made on your PC. Type in the password that you created for that account and hit next. The initial setup is now complete. These steps that I'm about to show you are the only steps you need to worry about when transferring photos from your phone to your PC. You'll never have to do the initial setup steps ever again unless your phone or your PC gets wiped. Now let's go to the Photos app. Select the photos that you'd like to transfer to your PC. Tap the Share button. Tap Save to Files. Tap the back arrow at the top left until you see your IP address. Tap your IP address. Tap the folder. Tap Save. 
Now, if you go back to your PC and open that folder, we'll see two photos that we just transferred over. And if we want to transfer pictures from our PC to our phone, we simply drag the pictures into our folder. Then on the phone, we open the Files app, tap our IP address, tap on our folder, open the picture, click the Share icon, and click Save to Photos. There you have it. You can now wirelessly transfer photos and videos from your iPhone to your PC and vice versa. Take that Apple ecosystem. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.